In this video, we will be discussing about the olfaction signaling, the molecular events of olfaction signaling. These molecular events of olfaction signaling occurs in the cilia of olfactory receptor cell. Here in this diagram, we can see the structure of olfactory receptor cell with cilia, dendrite, and axon. And it's here in this cilia where olfactory signaling occurs. If we zoom into it, it is the ciliary membrane where all the events occur. In the ciliary membrane, we have the olfactory receptor protein. This olfactory receptor protein receives the signaling molecule. And to this olfactory receptor, the G protein is bound having three subunits, alpha, beta, and gamma. And this G protein has GDP bound, thus renders it inactive. Then to the right, we have the adenyl cyclase, as shown in the diagram. And this is also the inactive yet. Furthermore, we have ion channels, like ciliary membrane has got closed calcium channels. And also there is closed anion channels, what we call as chloride channel, present in the ciliary membrane, shown in the pink color. Now to drive the signaling, we need signaling molecule. And here odorant acts as a signaling molecule. The odorant comes in and binds with the olfactory receptor as shown in the animation. The odorant binding, what we call as ligand binding, causes the conformational changes in the receptor, which in turn initiates the exchange of GDP with GTP. So here we see in this animation, the GDP goes off and GTP binds to the G protein. And the binding of GTP towards the G protein causes the disassociation of G alpha subunit from the G beta gamma subunit. Here we see the G-alpha protein then gets to this adenyl cyclase where it activates the adenyl cyclase. The adenyl cyclase then drives the reaction where ATP is converted into cyclic AMP or we can say CAMP. Then this cyclic AMP or CAMP gets to the calcium channel where camp-gated calcium channels are opened, thus increasing the intracellular concentration of calcium ions. Furthermore, calcium ions have positive effect on chloride channels or anion channel. So from here, the calcium acts on calcium-gated chloride channels and opens them. This causes efflux of chloride ions which then depolarizes the cell, triggering an electrical signal to the brain. So this is how olfaction signal reaches the brain. I hope you like the video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. Do consider supporting my work on Patreon and also make sure to subscribe to this channel. Thanks.